Good evening. It's a special honor to recognize outstanding faculty accomplishments. The college welcomes and congratulates each of Purdue Engineering's 2020 honorees. These faculty are an integral part of the success of the College of Engineering, leaving their mark and continuing to answer the call on the world's toughest challenges, like other generations of Boilermakers before. They're having an impact through research, teaching, advising, mentoring, engagement, and inspiring students who will magnify their influence, in turn making giant leaps of their own. The faculty we honor are among the extraordinary people of Purdue Engineering and bring great pride to the College of Engineering and the University. We thank you. Our program begins with recognition of our newly appointed or ratified named faculty members. These 12 highly accomplished faculty members are being recognized for eminence in a field of study and outstanding contributions to their disciplines. Antonio Bobet is the newly named Edgar B. and Hedwig M. Olson Professor in Civil Engineering. Professor Bobet is a leading authority in the area of rock mechanics and rock engineering, with major contributions in hydraulic fracturing and induced seismicity, seismic design of tunnels, risk evaluation and mitigation of geostructures, and the stability of lunar lava flows. His work has pointed the way to new solutions for increased safety in underground infrastructure design and construction and management. Robert J. Connor was recently named the Jack and K. Hakama Professor in Civil Engineering. Professor Connor's work focuses on design, research, and testing of bridges and related structures, structural health monitoring and evaluation, fatigue and fracture of steel structures, and bridge inspection and inspection reliability. The impact of his work has led to extensive design principles and code specifications that are used today by federal and state agencies. Melba M. Crawford now serves as the Nancy Uradil and Francis Basu Professor in Civil Engineering. Professor Crawford's research interests focus on development of advanced techniques for remote sensing data analysis and applications of these methods for agriculture and natural resource mapping and monitoring. Her work has been instrumental in the development of advanced sensing technologies and analysis methodology for wheeled and UAV platforms focused on high-throughput phenotyping. William Bill A. Crosley was named the J. William Urig and Anastasia Vornas Head of Aeronautics and Astronautics. Professor Crossley's teaching and research interests are in aerospace systems design analysis and optimization, with emphasis on problems that mix continuous and discrete variables, involve uncertainty, and have multiple objectives. His experienced community building and his systems vision were instrumental in fundamentally changing the aircraft design education and research environment in aeronautics and astronautics. Abhijit Abhi V. Deshmukh holds the newly named Professorship Tompkins Chair of Systems. Professor Deshmukh has an exceptional record of fundamental research with expertise in distributed decision making, mechanism design, and healthcare policy and has authored several landmark publications in the area of complex systems. He has significantly influenced the design community with his theoretical framework for distributed problem solving and made impactful contributions in distributed decision making and design theory. Eckhard A. Grohl serves as the William E. and Florence E. Perry Head of Mechanical Engineering. Professor Grohl's research consists of fundamental thermal sciences as applied to advanced energy conversion systems, components, and their working fluids. He has been recognized for significant contributions to the advancement of heat pumping technology applications, market development, as well as dissemination activities with lasting international impact, and to the advancement of refrigeration. Makarand Mark Haztak holds the newly named Dernlin Family Head of Construction Engineering and Management. Professor Haztak is a world-renowned expert in the area of construction engineering and management, with specific expertise in disaster risk reduction, infrastructure management, cost control, project management decision-making, risk management, factory-built housing, contracts, warranties, modular construction, and strategic planning. He has provided expertise to numerous projects sponsored by the NSF, State Departments of Transportation, city agencies, and the Construction Industry Institute. A.J. P. Malshi was recently named the R. Eugene and Susie E. Goodson Distinguished Professor of Mechanical Engineering. 
Professor Malshi has an exemplary record of research, teaching, and entrepreneurship in nanomaterials, machining and surface engineering, and packaging integration of microelectronic systems. He was elected to the National Academy of Engineering for innovations in nanomanufacturing with impact in multiple industry sectors in 2018. Particularly noteworthy advances are super-hard cubic boron nitride coatings for carbide cutting tools and specialty coatings for high-performance racing cars. Jan Olek has been named the James H. and Carol H. Keir Professor in Civil Engineering. Professor Olek's research focuses on the properties and behavior of concrete and asphalt in applications for transportation infrastructure. His work has resulted in design specifications for the Federal Highway Administration, standard specifications for concrete bridge decks in Indiana, Section 500 of the Indiana Department of Transportation Standard Specifications, and numerous other industry applications. Demetrius Peroulis serves as the Michael and Catherine Burke Head of Electrical and Computer Engineering. Professor Peroulis is a global leader in the field of reliable microelectromechanical systems, MEMS, for radio frequency applications and sensors. His research findings have not only had a profound impact on the science of MEMS reliability, but have already led to several breakthrough technological solutions in the areas of high-temperature engine health monitoring and intelligent energy-saving radio electronics. Karthik Romani has been appointed the Donald W. Federson Distinguished Professor in Mechanical Engineering. Professor Romani is an international leader who has created new fundamental research at the convergence of traditional disciplines by making connections between human-computer interactions, machine and deep learning of geometric shapes, exploring new forms of robot-human-machine interactions, as well as spatial, interactive, and wearable interfaces. He has innovated methods for representations of shapes for visual search, new manufacturing processes and machines, and new architectures for robots. Our last honoree is Young C. Shin, who now holds the distinction of the Donald A. and Nancy G. Roach Distinguished Professor of Advanced Manufacturing. Professor Shin is a leader in the area of laser-based manufacturing processes with applications to materials processing, utilizing high-power, intelligent monitoring and control, and advanced material removal processes. He has developed one of the most respected laser-based manufacturing programs in the United States and has made many critical contributions in laser-assisted machining, laser surface enhancement, laser additive manufacturing processes, laser shock peening, laser micro-machining, laser welding, and laser-based nano-manufacturing. The recognition as distinguished and named professors confers prestige upon yourselves, your schools, and these faculties elevate all of Purdue Engineering with their accomplishments. The college is grateful for their commitment and talent and proud to have them here at Purdue as members of our faculty and our administrative leadership team. Now we turn our attention to honoring the 2020 College of Engineering Faculty Excellence Awards recipients. This year marks the 18th annual celebration. We'll start off our recognition with the Dean A.A. A. Potter Undergraduate Teaching Award, bestowed upon the most outstanding teacher in the College of Engineering. It honors exemplary undergraduate teaching in all phases of the college's program on the West Lafayette campus. This year's Dean A.A. A. Potter Award goes to Carl W. Waskren, Jr., Professor, Mechanical Engineering. The biggest strengths Dr. Waskren has connected to his students is uh, he always starts off every lecture with some kind of pop culture fact that somehow relates to the topic we're covering. So I got to have him both thermodynamics one and fluid dynamics, and he always found some cool way to sort of reel in the class, get their attention right from the get-go. He, he really does care a lot about his students. And the cases that I'm involved in, there's hundreds in these classrooms, and he really does care about them learning. Professor Vaskrain's teaching influence extends way beyond Purdue University through his students, the TAs that he's worked with, and the outstanding notes on thermodynamics, fluid mechanics, and gas dynamics that he's made freely available to everyone on his webpage. I cannot recommend them highly enough. They are very, very good. He has about a 1,700 page textbook of just notes. 
and uh, he gives this out to the students for free, and he's made it all entirely himself. This is all Dr. Waskren's work, and it's got example problems with worked out solutions. It's got supplemental reading, so if you read the textbook and uh, you, know, you come back from class, maybe you want a little more in-depth on a topic, he's provided all that for you. We all do office hours. Um, every faculty member does that. He has a very unique way of doing them. He does them in where he does them in the labs where the students are, not in his office. So I find that you know very dedicated to to trying to be where the students want to learn and trying to help them learn. The testimonials to his teaching are just how many other students, uh, you know, try to get this professor for all their classes. Uh, he holds exam review sessions and they were consistently, the rooms were packed over capacity. You know, kids are sitting in the stairwell just to hear this guy review. For motivating students with challenging mechanical engineering curriculum through resource material, practice problem, and application-based learning models geared toward relevant modern examples, and for helping to strengthen students' backgrounds in science and technology, the College of Engineering is proud to present the Dean A.A. A. Potter Undergraduate Teaching Award to Carl R. Wasgren, Jr. Our next honor is the Early Career Teaching Award. This award was created to recognize exceptional undergraduate teaching by assistant professors and assistant professors of engineering practice and is awarded to Michael L. Mashtar, Jr., Assistant Professor, Agronomy and Environmental and Ecological Engineering. Michael and I have been working together for several years uh, and we've collaborated quite extensively on developing graduate curricula. His biggest contribution in, in changing education here at Purdue is that he took over the soil science classes and completely revamped their labs. The thing that makes Dr. Master stand out to me is that um, he's funny, he's entertaining, but also just through the syllabus class, the first class, um, he was able to convey how passionate and excited he was to teach the course, um, that it was really infectious for, I think, all of the students. Michael's teaching style involves a lot of energy and a lot of creativity. He's able to engage with students and talk to them about a much broader audience for technical communication, and that makes for a um, more interesting discussion and in how they think about things and he engages with them to help them develop different perspectives. Through Dr. Master's class, it's really affected how I view the world now. So uh, whenever I'm on campus walking around, I'll look at an area and I'll be like, oh, this is like the A and B layer. Uh, I'll see tire tracks and I'll say, oh, um, the dirt's compacted now, aggregated. Uh, and my friends will be like, Erica, why are you so excited about dirt? Like, no, it's soil, let me, let me continue. Michael brings a joy to teaching that I haven't seen in anybody else, and that he is very, very generous with his time and his energy in helping other people work through challenges, whether they're in curriculum or in individual students. He has always made time to help, and I think that has that has meant a lot to a lot of different students and to a lot of different faculty. For innovative coursework in urban ecosystem services and soil science, harnessing various active learning techniques, such as a hybridized version of lab lecture format to enrich the student experience and to enhance engagement and critical thinking skills, the College of Engineering is proud to present the Early Career Teaching Award to Michael L. Mashtar, Jr. We move now to the Graduate Student Mentorship Award. This award recognizes a faculty member in the College of Engineering for excellence in the mentoring of graduate students. This year's award is presented to Eriju M. Ardakani, Associate Professor, Mechanical Engineering. Uh, during the interaction with Professor Ardakani, what I find is she is a really dedicated person on research. Not only, I think not only about the research mentorship, uh, she actually performed a really good uh, student-teacher uh, functional relationship. She always advocates, support, and respects students. We have a big eclectic group and she does a brilliant job of managing all of us and being supportive of all of us. She took great efforts to guide my project 
and help me on my research. She also carefully helps us to develop long-term career plans. I remember she made documents for the group, listing her advice like how to make plans and keep track on research and resources to improve writing, presentation, and job interview. From her, I not only learned how to conduct impactful research, but also develop management skills to prepare my future career. She definitely is a, one of the most impactful person in my early career. She deeply care about the student's career. For me, as example, I already graduated for three years. She still constantly asks me what is my research status is, what I want to do in the future, and providing if there's any way she can provide the support. She she always being there to give me the support and encouragement. I consider myself、uh, fortunate to have her as my advisor, and I'm sure that everyone in our group shares the same opinion. I also want to thank her for being a great friend to me and always being supportive. I want to say thank you, Professor Arikani, and congratulations. For invaluable contributions to her graduate students' research, writing, and communication skills, affording them the skill set to become great researchers with long-term career opportunities and a built-in professional network, the College of Engineering is proud to present the Graduate Student Mentorship Award to Eriju M. Ardakani. Our program continues with the Online Education Award, recognizing a faculty member or lecturer in the College of Engineering for excellence in course development and pedagogy of an online education course. This award goes to James D. Jones, Associate Professor of Mechanical Engineering. Professor Jones's course was different from other courses in that we we got to see him on the screen when we watched、um, any particular tutorial video. He wasn't there for the entire time, but he. Gave a, like a verbal explanation of what was going to be covered, so it didn't feel any different than if I went to a lecture room.、Uh, he recorded over 200 segments of all of his online lectures. We、uh, recorded them in, to make them、uh, more fluent, more interesting, uh, more uh, uh, interactive with the students. So, which was,、uh, by a large extent, a monumental effort. All of his videos were super to the point. They covered exactly what we needed to be learning、um, in a concise order, and they made a lot of sense.、Um, they had great subtitles. They were categorized into different areas that、um, we could like search through and find the video we needed if I had to go back and look over something again. It was incredibly helpful to do that. It's really helped me、um, also be encouraged because the way he explained things made a lot of sense to me, and it made me enjoy the content.、Um, I'm studying industrial engineering, and so statics, the class that I took, isn't necessarily part of my major, but I really, really enjoyed understanding. Professor Jones is uh, very uh, committed to、uh, mechanical engineering education, as well as a, a person that、uh, provides a truly uh, an exceptional. Uh, educational experience for our students. I've modeled my teaching after his teaching because I think he's one of the best. He genuinely cares about his students, and you can tell because the course itself is so well put together, and there's definitely a lot of attention to detail. That、um, it, it's like he really just wants his students to succeed. For enthusiasm in enhancing student learning through advanced principles such as engineering estimates and online course education via Video Express, providing segmented lectures, coast-to-coast -coast asynchronous viewing, concept mapping, and on-screen demonstrations, the College of Engineering is proud to present the Online Education Award to James D. Jones. Our next set of faculty members are being recognized for their early career research excellence with the Early Career Research Award. Our first honoree in this category is Chi Wan Li, Assistant Professor, Weldon School of Biomedical Engineering and Mechanical Engineering.、Uh, Professor Li's unique contributions to research are the、uh, synthesis and fabrication of flexible electronics. The process、uh, basically. Involves、uh, making an electronic circuit, 
which includes chemistry, engineering, electrical engineering principles on a silicon wafer, lifting that circuit off the wafer, and then putting it into a flexible form such as this. So I've been very fortunate to interact with Professor Lee a lot over the past two years, really. And in that time, he's taken my research program that's based more on materials and really allowed us to start tailor those materials in very specific applications. Uh, with me, uh, he did some really foundational work in water-soluble or transient electronic devices as temporary implants for treating internal wounds and various disease states. Uh, at Purdue, he's now blazing his own trails at the uh, interface between biomedical and mechanical engineering. These contributions elevate the research being conducted at Purdue University by showing there is a pathway not only for discovery and fundamental science and engineering, but also a pathway for translating these uh, new discoveries and methodologies into something that is used by the consumer or by the patient. He goes out and talks to the patients and the folks in the clinic to figure out what their needs are, and instead of just building the best widget possible, he builds the device that allows them to accomplish their goal, and he does so in a low-cost, high-throughput manner. Professor Lee exemplifies a young research faculty at a major research institution, such as Purdue University, by not only the way he does the research and his concern for patients and translating his technologies to practical use, but also in the way he educates students who will carry on these ideas and help develop a new industry. For the introduction of leading edge technologies such as wearable biomedical devices, battery free wireless sensors, and silicon nanoneedle patches, resulting in widespread applications that push the boundaries of next generation engineering research and education. The College of Engineering is proud to present the Early Career Research Award to Chi Wan Lee. Our second honoree is Partha P. Mukherjee, Associate Professor, Mechanical Engineering. He has been uh, developing the muscle skill methods uh, you know, for a very long time on fuel cells and recently um, on batteries. Uh, so he's definitely a, a leading expert on computational fluid me uh, mechanics. Uh, also, he's uh, really his signature work is to couple uh, different physics like mechanics, uh, energy, heat, uh, together uh, into the transport process. Uh, we worked on uh, looking at dendrites uh, in magnesium. Uh, this was a fairly controversial topic, but that did not scare Partha away, and he really stepped up uh, to the challenge. Because his work is interdisciplinary, I know that he works with uh, many uh, colleagues on the campus from uh, other background, other departments, like chemical engineering, aerospace engineering, uh, or even chemistry. So uh, I see him as a, a core piece uh, or essential piece of that kind of collaboration. I, I really think uh, that he's, he's one of the uh, most uh, innovative, uh, creative uh, researchers uh, working on energy storage in his generation and uh, I'm very glad to have had the opportunity to collaborate with him. I'm totally uh, confident that the Parsa is uh, still uh, on up uh, curve in his career and uh, he's uh, incorporating even more uh, interesting elements into his research. I want to take this opportunity to thank uh, Bartha for being a fantastic collaborator, a, a gr real great inspiration, and someone who uh, I can always approach and bounce an idea off, and uh, someone who inspires me and my research group in, in many ways. I think he's a fantastic uh, scientist and a researcher, and uh, we've just uh, truly enjoyed uh, collaborating with him on all sorts of projects. For expanding the frontiers of electrochemical energy storage and conversion research through scientific ingenuity and engineering insight in mesoscale physics and stochastics, the College of Engineering is proud to present the Early Career Research Award to Partha P. Mukherjee. Next, we award the Impact on Industry Award created to recognize research excellence that has had a significant translational impact on industry in the past five years. We present Farshid Sadegi, 
Cummins Distinguished Professor Mechanical Engineering with this honor. Professor Deghi has been a leader in the area of tribology and he has pioneered the research for about 30 years or so in the area. His models on uh, bearings uh, nowadays are referred by name in the community, in automotive community and tribology community. And uh, several industry in automotive and bearing industry, they declare that they rely on his models to advance R&D. Um, he had a really good understanding of what industry needed, and he was able to translate that into uh, graduate student appropriate research projects. Just the amount of trust people had in Farshid. Uh, a lot of the deals that he worked out were handshake deals originally, and the contracts would come later, but people just, they just, after working with Farshid for extended periods of time, they knew that they could trust him to get the job done. He's always there and he wants to get the things done. He's always motivating his students uh, to work uh, to the industry project, but to bring the industry project up to the next level. Every single major bearing company in the world has or is a sponsor of our lab. And that itself summarizes what the contribution, what he has done to the bearing industry as a whole. I personally um, benefited a lot from Farshid because you know, I was an assistant professor early on. I had some experience, but not a lot of experience. And Farshid was a professor at that time, you know, somebody who knew the ropes. And he just helped guide me really in my career. And, and I, I'm very appreciative of that. For pioneering efforts in tribology resulting in sustained technology transfer to global industry partners in the fields of bearings, automotive, aerospace, heavy and light duty industry, and for bringing together a consortium of competitors in the advancement of rolling element machinery, the College of Engineering is proud to present the Impact on Industry Award to Farshid Sadegi. We continue with the Research Award, recognizing faculty members in the College of Engineering for an exceptional recent research contribution that has had significant impact on the discipline and or society. This award goes to David J. Love, Nick Tribovich Professor, Electrical and Computer Engineering. I think his main contribution really is comes from in this area of what's called multiple input, multiple output communication systems. These are systems where at the transmitter we have more than one antenna and at the receiver we may have more than one antenna as well. These are called MIMO systems and as it turns out there are methods that people can use today to vastly increase the capacity of a communication link using techniques from MIMO systems. And David has made a name for himself. He's uh, worked in the area of wireless communications and uh, contributed significantly to the uh, fourth generation and uh, most recently fifth generation standards that are being implemented today. today. Uh, specifically, some of the multi-antenna standards and codes that are being used uh, bear his imprint. Well, this idea of, of limited feedback pre-coding that was pioneered in Love's original work um, is really found in billions of devices today. You can really see pointing back all of this academic and industrial research that's been done based upon that original work and has really revolutionized. The fact that you have 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G now phones with multi-megabit capacity in them really goes back to that work. That's a revolution for sure. He tends to make everything better. I mean, everything that we do together is better and it's better by more than times two because of his presence. Uh, the students succeed better, the students do better work, the problems we pick are better, our opportunities to fund these problems are better. I can't really say anything negative about it. It's just been a huge productivity multiplier to have worked with Professor Love over these years.
For groundbreaking research on the design, analysis, and development of MIMO systems adapting to channel conditions, revolutionizing 4G and 5G wireless systems, and for leading to a new area of research known as limited feedback communication, the College of Engineering is proud to present the research award to David J. Love. Our next honor is the Dean H.T. Yang Leadership and Service Award, created last year to recognize excellence in faculty leadership through service that has a significant positive impact within Purdue Engineering. The award is presented to John D. Fricker, Professor, Lyles School of Civil Engineering. John presided over the curriculum overhaul where we developed a lot of new courses for the undergraduates. Uh, really, he's taken the most in-depth look at our curriculum since the early 1970s, examining not only the courses that are available to compose uh, a graduation pathway, but also uh, looking at new innovative ideas for coursework, such as one credit units that could change the way new students begin to perceive civil engineering. Real you know, quintessential faculty member who takes service to his students, to his profession, university, and the community as one of the primary missions. And, and he does that very selfless way. John is a very thoughtful person and always has the interests of the school at heart. Uh, He's ran our committee, our undergraduate committee, for more than 10 years. Professor Freaker cares about his students deeply, and uh, Professor Freaker cares about his civil engineering. Is in general, he, he knows the, the, the real assets is on the people. It's the future of civil engineering. It's on next generation, which is the students at Purdue. I think John's uh, multiple dimensions of service uh, really exemplify uh, an impression of what it really means to be a faculty member. Uh, he works very well as a mentor and has been a personal mentor to me on multiple fronts uh, over many years, uh, particularly in efforts that I've made to pursue curriculum innovation. He's very dedicated to considering the interests of the entire population of the, of the school, uh, across faculty, staff, and students, and trying to think about how we can enhance our program effectively. And he pursues his duties with great dedication and preparation that I think is reflective of what we'd seek in a faculty colleague. Uh, and in that way, I believe he truly is representative of the uh, Yang Faculty Award. For superb dedication to modernizing the Lyle School of Civil Engineering's undergraduate curriculum to offer students greater flexibility, diversity and in integration of technical areas, and enhancing the preparation of CE graduates for today's career environment, the College of Engineering is proud to present the Dean H.T. Yang Leadership and Service Award to John D. Fricker. We now move to the Engagement Awards, presented to either an individual faculty member, team, or both for excellence in engagement with external stakeholders, local, regional, or international. This year's Engagement Award goes to Inez Hua, Professor, Lyle School of Civil Engineering and Environmental and Ecological Engineering. Professor Govindaraju from Civil and I nominated Professor Hua for the Engagement Award because of her amazing contributions uh, to two NSF projects. For the REU project, Professor Hua uh, took the visiting undergraduate students and align them with faculty and graduate students from Purdue. For the RET project, she made the connection between these visiting teachers and uh, faculty and graduate students from uh, the, different, uh, the two different universities. So I think the teachers gain insights to how research labs operate here at Purdue. They gained insights onto how several different disciplines um, looked at the ideas of sustainability in, in regards to, to electronics. She brought her considerable skill set to bear in engaging with not only the community, but industry advisors and mentors, um, the REU students from around the country, high school teachers, and then indirectly to all the, the students impacted by the work of the high school teachers. Simply put, without Inez, there would be no RET program for this at Purdue. Uh, without Inez, it would not have continued. 
Without Inez, it would not be as successful as it is. So from that perspective, she is the linchpin of the entire program. She's somebody that, that cares deeply about the students. Um, it is technically brilliant and, and, and very active and, and also cares about the broader impacts that we have around society, um, within the, the area schools, and I think that those things are, are manifest in why she got this award. For providing unique professional development opportunities for STEM learning to area teachers focused on content knowledge, lab skills, and data analysis techniques, and for fostering undergraduate student research of environmental challenges in the green economy and building interest in engineering graduate studies, the College of Engineering is proud to present the Engagement Award to Inez Wa. Our final award this evening is the Engagement Team Award. This year, we recognize Darcy M. Bullock, Lyle's family professor, Lyle School of Civil Engineering, and Iman F. Habib, Thomas A. Page professor, Lyle School of Civil Engineering. So the collaboration between JTRP and INDOT really is a 100-year relationship uh, where representatives from the state of Indiana have essentially relied on Purdue to help them advance transportation and problem solve. And even though I know that um, neither Dr. Bullock or Dr. Habib were here 100 years ago when this all started, They've just picked up this baton brilliantly. I said over the last five years, they have done 150 research projects. And these research projects have essentially pushed the envelope on, on producing better practices. Our partnership started with the JTRP uh, several years ago. Uh, we crossed paths and uh, during that time I was introduced to Professor Habib and Professor Bullock. Uh, we started a conversation about the use of UAVs or drones in uh, public safety and particularly in crashing, crash scene mapping. One of the things I've appreciated most about my interactions with the JTRP team is the fact that it is so inclusive. It's really amazing how they bring in representatives from INDOT as well as their students, their graduate students, uh, and their faculty and staff and everybody is engaged as part of this process. We were able to implement a lot of the best practice and procedures available to law enforcement and then share those uh, experiences with other agencies so that they don't have to experience those same problems that we faced in the beginning of our project. I'm really happy to have them as colleagues. Well, this is one of the things that I enjoy being part of this institute and enjoy being part of it as a head is to have a much better understanding of all the wonderful things that our colleagues do, in this case including Professors Bullock and Habib. For the Joint Transportation Research Program's widespread impact on transportation infrastructure systems throughout the state of Indiana, providing multidisciplinary focus and increased communication for best practices in areas of work zone safety and unmanned aerial systems for standardized processing of crash and crime scenes. The College of Engineering is proud to present the Engagement Team Award to Darcy M. Bullock, Lyle's family professor, Lyle School of Civil Engineering, and Iman F. Habib, Thomas A. Page professor, Lyle School of Civil Engineering. To all of our faculty, you represent the very best. Purdue Engineering is delighted to celebrate and honor your scholarship and your achievements in the classroom, the lab, the field, in our state, and around the world. This concludes our awards presentation. We'd like to thank all of the honorees for their commitment to the College of Engineering and Purdue University.